Bago on YouTube. I'm back with another Flamer Game Changer. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Miss Never Ordinary. Today we are going to be making curry lentil and grilled snapper. I know through this quarantine and everything that is going on, we need to maintain our health and keep ourselves healthy. So. I decided to do this cooking tutorial for you guys so you guys can also keep health within your family, within yourself, mentally, and nourishing your body. So let's get go. started. We do need a cutting board, a knife, you may need some tongs. The ingredients that we're going to need is allspice, cumin, ginger, we do have our masala curry, oil, we do have avocado plant spray. Freshly boiled lentil, coconut milk. We're gonna be adding some onions, garlic, squash. Don't forget about our kale, tomatoes, and some fresh filet snapper. Let's start chopping these items. The extra plate here is for our chopped items once we're done. Hey Tubies, so after I continue to chop the vegetables off camera, I wanted to show you guys a very important way to clean your squash before roasting it, because this needs to be roasted inside of our curry lentil. You can take a spoon, and you see how it has seeds. You can actually scoop it out very cleanly. You can actually save these seeds by um, freezer, or if you actually want, you can roast them. You can place them in the oven with a little bit of salt, or no salt, you can actually use them for salads, or just as a healthy snack. Allow me to show you how to clean it. So we're gonna turn, and do you see how they just fall right on out? And this is how we clean our squash. Now that everything is chopped and prepared, our kale is clean, we do have our squash that we need to place in the oven to roast. I have washed off the squash add a little oil the oven is on 375 if you would like you can add salt and pepper your oil of choice we're gonna place this in the oven for 35 minutes make sure it's at an even level so it can roast properly and done let's start roasting our squash in the oven you go so now, as our squash is roasting, we're going to begin to saute our vegetables to start off our curry lentil. If you don't have a wok, which I like using, you can use a white pan as well. Let's get started. As the onion and tomato and fresh garlic is simmering, all the items to make this process not so long. Now that we've added our kale, ensure that the kale steams down nicely with the lentil. At this point, you can start adding your allspice to the mixture. Now that this has simmered down, we're going to add our coconut milk.
You can gauge as much as you would like and how creamy you would like it. Now that this part is over, we're gonna wait till our squash is tender and then we'll add it to the mixture. Now let's grill our snack. Our grill is on and it's nice and hot. I like to use avocado oil for my fish. So we're going to spray the surface to ensure that it's lubricated enough so the fish does not stick. Grill fish until golden on each side. It's been about 10 minutes. Our snappers look perfect. Let's place these to the side and wait on our squash to finish roasting so we can add it to our curry lentil mix. our mixture. We added the squash to our mixture. Let's mix it all in now. Now we're finished. It's time to plate. If you do decide to try this recipe, please insert a picture below or comment if you tried. Let me know how it tastes. Until next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!